In this video, you're going to learn how to build UTM links so you can measure the success of your marketing campaigns and how to analyze that data inside of Google Analytics. Timestamps below along with a link to download the exact same UTM builder that we use and build for ourselves and clients to help us stay organized. Now, UTM parameters are a set of tags that you can attach to any one of your URLs. So here's a URL without UTM parameters installed looks something like this. If you add elements of UTM parameters, it turns into something like this. These added elements are what make the magic happen. A UTM parameter has five components. They are source, medium, campaign, content, and term. Let's go ahead and break down each element and what they do. First, we have source. Source tells Google Analytics where the traffic is coming from. In this URL, the source is YouTube, since that's where the origin of traffic is, and that's where the link is actually placed. The next element is medium. Medium tells Google Analytics how the traffic got to you. Is it through organic search? Is it paid? A referral? Next, we have campaign. And this is going to be something that you specifically set yourself. So if you have a particular sales funnel or a particular product or promotion, this is typically where you're going to put that name. And this name should be irrespective and independent from where the traffic is coming from. You're going to want to have the campaign represent something you want to track, not have it tied to a specific traffic source. You can have multiple traffic sources and mediums in the same campaign. Now the next element is content and content tells you the specific ad, video, social post that the traffic came from. Then we have term and term allows you to tell Google Analytics the keyword. You're probably not going to use term very much unless you're doing pay-per-click advertising that's targeting keywords. With these five elements, you can get really detailed in telling Google Analytics exactly where all your traffic is coming from. And it's awesome because as we go through the reports, you'll be able to see exactly what's working and maybe more importantly, exactly what's not. Since we've covered the elements that make up the UTM parameters, now let's head on to how to actually build one. And don't worry, you don't have to create it yourself. You can generate a UTM link by using Google's free UTM builder. Just head over to Google and search UTM Builder. The first result is going to be a free tool by Google that allows you to put together these particular URLs without having to figure out all of those question marks, underscores, spacing, and whatnot. Now, it's very important that once you come up with your URLs, you are 100% sure that that is what you want because we're talking about analytics here, which means nothing is retroactive. So you really, really want to make sure you get it right the first time. When entering the elements, you want to make sure it is all lowercase because Google Analytics is case sensitive. So just leave everything lowercase to make sure your data stays clean. So we'll go ahead and type in our URL. We're going to build a UTM link for one of our landing pages that's promoting a Tag Manager playbook. We're promoting it on YouTube and our blog, so the traffic source would be either blog or YouTube. For our example here, we'll go ahead and put YouTube as the campaign source. Of course, you have your website URL. The source is always going to change based upon where you're placing the link. For campaign source, we could have just as easily put Google if it was a search ad, email, Facebook. In this case, we're just going to do YouTube, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter are other platforms that would work here as well. The next element we're going to enter is the campaign medium. In this particular example, the campaign medium would be organic because this is an organic YouTube video and we're not paying to promote it. For medium, I also recommend using CPC, banner, newsletter, organic, and affiliate. Remember, the medium can be different depending upon how the traffic got to you. They could all be from the same source, but how they get to you is different. For example, on Facebook, we could be running ads, you could have some organic posts, and then you could also have some affiliates or referrals running promotions for you. And it's all from Facebook. The source is the same, but the medium, how the traffic got to you is different. And we want to make note of that. That's where medium is really, really going to be valuable. For the campaign name, it's going to be PTM, Tag Manager Playbook. For the campaign term, let's just say Tag Manager. If you're doing organic stuff, I typically don't recommend using term, but we'll just use it here for example purposes. 
And then we have campaign content. This is going to be where you give your ad or content post a name or code. In this particular instance, let's say our internal code is F5. So we'll put F5 to represent the video. Now it's really important to standardize these. The UTM parameters entered here should be the exact same every time we want to promote this particular landing page with the exception of changing either the source or medium depending upon where the link is being shared. For example, in the campaign name, when I typed in ptm-tag-manager-playbook, I should call it that exact name every single time I'm promoting this landing page or a page related to this particular offer. Since that is the only way Google Analytics is going to know, all of that traffic is related to this specific offer or campaign. And you really, really do want to pay attention to your spelling and case sensitivity here. It's really important to make sure your data is clean and useful because Google Analytics with one small change will make two line items in your reports and now your traffic is not being tracked correctly. Which is why using something like our free UTM builder is so important. It allows you to label your sources and campaigns once and build as many links as you need without ever having to worry about forgetting how an element is supposed to be spelled or the case. As you can see at the bottom, we have a clean table that you can change for yourself. And if we come to the top, all you have to do is go through the different drop-down menus, selecting the elements that are relevant to your link. And then you have a nice clean export. You can just copy and paste this particular URL wherever your ad or post is going live, and you'll be good to go. Click the link in the description below if you want to have access to this free UTM builder. And with that, of course, you'll want to double check your super long URL to make sure you haven't overlooked anything and you are ready to post it. Now, there is one little thing that I need to mention about emails, specifically your email marketing software. Some autoresponders out there might actually allow you to check a little box that says track with Google Analytics for your links automatically. You definitely do not want to check this box irrespective of what your service provider is. You need to make sure that the way they track analytics is the same way that you do, especially as your business grows. Since you'll most likely switch providers in the future, you want to make sure that your naming conventions stay the same irrespective of what software you choose to use. Now, this is what happens when you start getting clicks. You're going to be using the campaigns reporting inside of your Google Analytics account to track to see how your promotions are performing. Let's go ahead and jump straight into analytics. First, we're going to click on acquisition on the left-hand side, campaigns, all campaigns. I'll be using universal analytics since GA4 still doesn't have all of the data that you need. The good news is you'll be able to switch without having to reset anything up in the future. And if that made no sense, just use the version of analytics you currently have installed. Now, when I scroll down here, you'll see all of our current campaigns and they are all in lowercase. These names are coming directly from our UTM link URLs. If we want to see more information and elements, all we have to do is go click on secondary dimension. In the secondary dimension, there are two places you can look. First, we're going to look at acquisition. If you go through acquisition, you'll be able to sort by medium. That's where we're looking at paid versus organic versus newsletter versus banners. And then you can look at source, which is pretty much the top level when it comes to your traffic tracking. Then you can also go ahead and go into advertising. And this is where you're going to be able to see campaign content and campaign term. Again, I definitely don't recommend messing with campaign term when you're just getting started. You'll figure out what works best for you with that, but the campaign content you'll definitely want to have because you're going to want to know what specific blog post, podcast, ad, YouTube video is actually working. So let's go ahead and go through our example here. Since we're tracking the promotions for the Tag Manager playbook, we're going to click on that here so you can see the data. We can see that our traffic is coming from YouTube and the blog with YouTube having more than 96% of the traffic. All of our mediums are organic because we're not doing any paid campaigns. Now let's go ahead and see which specific video is performing the best with promoting our free offer. We'll go to secondary dimension and click on add content. And now we have all of our numbers. 
we can see the video that brought in the most traffic to our landing page containing the Tag Manager Playbook promotion link is F5. We can now answer the question of what type of content is best for promoting this particular offer. F5 has brought in more than half of our traffic. Looking at all this data will help us make a better decision when it comes time to make content again. We will have an idea about what type of content or maybe how to turn this into an ad to do more promotions. If our goal is to do more promotions, well then obviously F5 is a much better video to try and replicate than let's say F43 or F11 that only got 18 and eight, right? Of course, this will take quite a while to collect the data. But when you get this granular and this detailed, marketing becomes a cinch because you no longer have to be constantly guessing of what type of ad, blog post, or video to create. You can just go ahead and look at this and it will give you the answer. It's a great cheat code when it comes to content creation and driving traffic. Now make sure you check out that link in the description to the UTM builder. It's going to make all of this a complete breeze. And within three to six months, you're going to have data just as great and juicy as this. Hopefully you can see the value in going through these extra steps to track your links. So go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe for more deep dive marketing videos, just like this one, download that UTM builder, and until the next, keep building the business you love.